Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Now we're going to take a look at the arcs of a circle. An arc of a circle is the curved part on the outside, and it totally relates to the central angle that causes it. So let's look at these examples right here. We've got, um, number one, the measure of arc XQ. Now since X and Q are two letters, um, that is a minor arc because it goes less than halfway around the circle. And obviously I'm looking at this arc here, the curved part between X and Q. So the key there is to notice that this angle in here is what's left from 180 because XS is a diameter. So 180 minus 40 would give you your answer 140 degrees. So arcs are always measured in degrees when you're talking about the measure of the arc. On number two, the measure of arc VSX. VSX. Let's look at that one. V S X. Alright, the important thing to remember here is that this is a 40 degree angle. We have vertical angles inside. So it is going to be 360 degrees all the way around the circle. Take away the 40 that's left. So 320 degrees for that major arc. Next question. What is the measure of arc QXV? QXV. QXV. Now I noticed that XV, or excuse me, the um, VQ segment is obviously a diameter. So easy question there, 180 degrees. Notice that you have a semicircle arc. If it's exactly half the circle, it's a semicircle, and it's still considered a major arc. Number four, the measure of arc TSV. TSV would be here. Again, three letters to denote a major arc. So if this angle in here is 40, then this would have to be 50. Notice how it's the other part of the right angle. So we have 360, take away the 50 degrees, and that would give us 310. That major arc, TSV, is 310 degrees. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.